This is a JMT uh, BS 4016. It's a 13, 13 and a half by uh, 5 8 uh, hydraulic plate shear. Um, this particular machine has an optional uh, light curtain or uh, guard. It's the only option on this machine. Everything else we're going to uh, demonstrate today is standard on this machine. Um, one of the key features that I like about this machine is it has power CNC blade gap and also blade crowning. Uh, so I pull up to the machine and I, you know, I'm shearing 24 gauge stainless. It's, it's going to automatically set the optimal blade gap and blade crowning in the middle of the machine. So it, all intents and purposes, I'm going to have two thousandths in the middle, six thousandths on the end. There's going to be a crown to the whole bed. So when I shear that material, it's going to be perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and start this machine. I'm on, you know, I've got, uh, I mean, 0.035 is thickness right now, like 20, what, 20 gauge. I'm just gonna cycle the machine once. Now, this machine's got adjustable rake angle. Depending on what I'm shearing, it'll, it'll automatically adjust that. See, right now, I'm set at 0.5 or half degree. Now I can adjust this. I've got a material library, stainless. And it's adjusting the rake, the optimum rake for what I'm shearing. Now I can set this in my parameters for what I want, you know. And you know, we've got some factory settings in here for optimum, but you know, the, the operator can change any of these at any time. I'm cutting stainless, but also I can, I've just changed my rake, let's say, I want to change my thickness, say 0 0.2, whoop, 0.25, 0.25 initialize. It's going to change my blade gap. There's a motor right here that and it automatically changes that. So now we're at 0 0.015 blade gap, still at our two and a half degree break angle. I've also got my length here at 120 inches. Let's say I'm going to shear a piece here, say 24 inches. That's going to be my length. I don't want my back gauge to say, I don't want 12 inches, I want it 2 inches. My back gauge is coming into 2 inches. And I'm going to shear 24 inches. Now let's say it, on my back gauge, I can set a retract, say 0.1. So as soon as the hold downs touch the material, my back gauge is going to retract 0.1, then it's going to come back to position so I don't trap, trap my, uh, my blank or my drop. Depending on what I'm shearing, I can change my hold down pressure. The, if I pull up aluminum and the machine knows the yield and tensile, it's going to adjust the hold down pressure so I don't mar my material. You know, copper, stainless, different mild steels. It'll adjust the hold down pressure automatically or I can change it to what I want. I'm going to go ahead and grab a piece of stainless. This is just quarter inch stainless. I've got, you know, standard squaring arm with recessed scale, front, uh, front part uh, gauging. I've got ball transfers built into the table. It's all, it's just standard features. We've got, some, you know, you can get some optional, lot longer arms. This particular customer um, decided to build their own front uh, extensions, which is fine. They did a nice job. I've got a light curtain on this machine. Let me go ahead and shear it. Now I could have set my length. I was going, I took my foot off the pedal as soon as it sheared through it, but if I was doing a lot of these, I would also set my length or my part width. So the so 24 inches wide, three turns. Beautiful baggage. No bird whatsoever. Now I've got some half inch mild steel. I mean, this is just bar stock, but. Walk up, I'm going to change to mild steel. Change my thickness to 
Uh, cut width, uh, let's see, six inches. Um, the back gaze and say I wanted it three inches. Uh, retract still at point two, but let's say I wanted a point one. Initialize. So my back gauge is going back to my three inches. Retract there, I'm going to cut half inch mile steel, six inch width. So if I was hit my laser. Bar stop. Pretty simple. So I've got a piece of thin stainless here, the 24. I've also got a business card here. I mean, this is a pretty thin card. I'm going to put this card in here. Stainless. Now I've tripped my laser, so I've got to reset the control. I'll go ahead and shear this. I took my foot off. Card. No burr whatsoever. That's power blade gap on this size machine is critical for shearing thin material. But it's not only changing the blade gap, it's changing the blade crown. So it affects how tight the blade is in the middle compared to the ends um, because of deflection. I mean, this machine's built like a, like a tank uh, on a basically armor plate. But um, two or three thousandths of deflection will affect this. But the control knows that and it, it adjusts it automatically in the bed for what blade gap we have. Now on the, on the touch control on these shears, well, I've been going into single stroke, I'm going to go into manual. Manual's just, I walk up, I've got one part, I just simply want to do it. I want to adjust my back gauge, I want my back gauge back. I can quickly just set it. But I can, you know, I can also singly set it, you know, I want to go to 12 inches. Initialize, and back gauge goes back to 12 inches. Pretty simple. Um, now this, this is just a, a one, one shear or a one stroke program is what we've been doing. You know, and in that I can adjust my rake, I can adjust my blade gap, I can adjust my blade crown, I can adjust my drop or my back gauge dimension. This, the touch control is a CNC control so I can program multiple shears um, or multiple uh, steps so to speak. I'm going to go to new program, I'm going to give it a name. We'll just call this uh, demo six, demo six. Let's say For the material. Let's say I'm going to be sharing stainless. I mean, I can I can develop a material library, hard oxes armor. I mean, all types of different material. We can program it in there. Give it the yield and tinsel uh, thickness. Let's say or we're, we're sharing quarter inch uh, length. Uh, bad. Let's say the first shear is 12 inches. Step repeat, I don't want to repeat, I just want to do it once. Okay, I want to add a new step. Length, let's say I turn my part, it's no longer 12 inches long, let's say it is 120. Um, back gauge, I don't want it 12 inches, I want it at four inches. Step repeat, I only want to do it once. I want to add, I'm going to make three steps, you could do 50 if you want it. A length, let's say on this step, I wanted it to be 16 inches. 16 inches, 12 inches back gauge. Let's say I wanted a four inch back gauge. Save it. Demo six, I'm going to go auto. It automatically set in our blade gap. We're 12 inch flange, stainless steel, quarter inch. So our back gauge is coming into our, our second, second position. I mean, plus or minus two thousandths on our back gauge. 120 inch length of shear. And 16 inch with four inch. And I'm back to my original position. Now I want to edit this program. I got step one, step two, instead of that. Say I want to change this to 16. So 
Step one's 12 inches. Step two's gonna be 16. Step three's four. Hold on. So I'm at 12 inches. On my back gauge, 12 inch shear length. Okay, we're gonna go to 16, the one I edited on the second program. 120 inch shear length, we didn't edit that, we could. Then we're gonna come into four inches with 16th, 16 inch shear length. Then it's gonna start back in this position. But like it's, if I was editing this program and edit number one, see we're at 120, 16 inch length. If I wanted to edit this, I'd go to 24. Auto, so position. Depending on what I started with, go back to position one. So 12 inches, then my shear length is gonna be different on the second one. Go back to single stroke, guy walks up, aluminum, fix it, change my thickness, 0.02. That gauge goes back to our program position, rake angle changes. There's our half half degree rake angle and our 0.02 blade gap because of the material I changed. Okay. Go to my home screen. I could have saved programs, or you know, I've got my calibration. I've got my material list. Material list I can develop. You know, whole product list or material list. Program list. I've got all my programs. I can uh, save them and pull them up for later use. You know, you say you got a particular product or a, you know, a kit out of a sheet. You know, trying to get sheet utilization, you can pull up that and run it. Um, but it's a very nice machine.